Another small rodent that would make a tasty meal for a predator lives here in the arid north of Kenya. In fact, there are dozens within a few yards of me as I speak. But this one has adopted the safest strategy of all, to spend nearly all of its time below ground. And this is all that most people will ever see of it. A naked mole rat. They use their teeth for digging. Uniquely, their lips close behind the teeth. That stops earth getting into their mouth. With this superb burrowing equipment, they dig a great network of tunnels radiating from a central chamber where the colony gathers and the babies are kept. All the babies are produced by one big female, the founder of the colony. All the rest of them, and there may be as many as a hundred, are the founder's children. And none of them will breed here as long as their mother is alive. Their job is to tunnel away searching for tubers and roots. In the course of doing that, they create a vast network of tunnels that stretches for hundreds of yards under the African plains. Above ground, you have to look very hard to find any sign of a plant that might provide mole rats with an underground meal. Mostly, there is just dry grass and the odd acacia seedling. When mole rats meet, they assess one another's status with a sniff, and the junior one has to pass underneath the senior one. They're blind, and in the darkness they're just as happy travelling backwards as forwards. I now come about a quarter of a mile from where I saw those mole rats digging, and this is the plant I've been looking for. Now, in the dry season, it's nothing more than a curly stem and a few withered leaves. But beneath the ground here, there's treasure. And here it is. Tubers like this are few and far between around here, and it's a matter of pure chance as to whether the mole rats burrowing underground blindly bump into one, which is why mole rat colonies have to have several dozen workers. But if they do find one like this, it could sustain the colony for two or three weeks. Their sharp incisors cut into the tough tuber. Some of it, the lucky finders will eat on the spot. They also drag back lumps to the central chamber to be shared by the rest of the colony. This colonial arrangement where all the workers are sterile and labor away to support their mother is also the basis for the colonies of bees and ants. But naked mole rats are the only mammals of any kind that have adopted it. Although those long chisel front teeth are rodent hallmarks, rodents are also famous for reproducing with extraordinary rapidity. <laughs> 